In this session, we're going to take a look at the upgraded Power Clip features in CorelDRAW X6. Power Clip has really been transformed from a pretty standard tool to now in X6, I would say that it's become an interactive tool in CorelDRAW. And this is probably the most significant Power Clip upgrade in the history of CorelDRAW. And we'll take a look at that in this video. I'm going to go ahead and scroll down. I've just got a simple graphic set up here with the new X6 Power Clip. And I've just got a little sports design here with some outlines on it. And very often what we like to do is just do some power clipping, add some effects to give these simple text designs some pop when we're doing school designs and things like that. And I've created a little effect vector down here and I'm going to add this to my text here, my power clip text. Previously you could right click, hold down and select power clip inside and power clip different ways. But here in X6 you can right click on your object and select power clip inside and then just click on the object that you want to power clip inside and you'll see that your object is inside. Then you'll see this little toolbar appear down here which is an interactive toolbar for your power clip. You can click on edit power clip and you'll go inside your power clip. You can stop editing contents right here with this and then go back outside. You can click here on select power clip contents and now for the first time you can edit your power clip contents externally directly in draw and I could go ahead and select this and move this and tweak it without having to go into the power clip change the color what have you go ahead and click off we'll select that again and that'll bring that toolbar back up you can go here to extract contents that'll bring your contents out you can click here to lock contents in power clip which is locked already you can go over here and click over here and you've got some different alignment properties and things that you can work with you can center your contents and I'll click that and that would be centered. I'll hit control Z. You can also fit contents proportionally as you can see there and I'll hit control Z to undo that. Come down here fill frame proportionally and that will just make your object inside stretch to the exact corners of your power clip. I'll hit control Z and you can come over here and stretch contents to fill frame also. So as you can see, there's a lot of new interactivity relating to the power clipping in CorelDRAW 6 that's really going to make it easier to deal with your power clips and manage them effectively because everything that you need to do or everything that you'd want to do is on the fly here through this little toolbar that shows up whenever you've got a power clipped object. 